Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Dimitri Johnson, and you're listening to MMALatestNews.com. It's time to roll, baby. Hello and welcome back to MMA Latest. This is our UFC 241 preview. It's heavyweight title fight time, bitches. We are partnered with the good folks at BetBull and one of the few places that you can get a bet on MMA. And we've done all right in the last few weeks and I feel like we're going to get back to 100% hit rate on today. So here are some of the bets that you can bet along with us this week. Please make sure to be 18 and over, gamble aware and all of that good stuff. Link is in the description. DC versus Stipe Miocic. Heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier could be set to make his second title defence against the man he took it from in Stipe Miocic. Headline in the card, Stipe has not fought since he lost a strap at UFC 226 in the hope that he would get a rematch, which has been successful for him. In the meantime, Daniel Cormier made his first defence at UFC 230 in Madison Square Garden against prospect Derek Lewis. With Cormier heavily anticipated to be in a super fight against Brock Lesnar, the former heavyweight champ announced his retirement early this year, opening the opportunity for Miocic to come and challenge once more. The fight between the two last year was very tight despite only lasting four and a half minutes. Miocic controlled the pace before a brutal DC knockout which would grant Cormier the title of champ champ, only the second to have done it at the time. With Betbull, the champion is the favourite at 8 to 11 while the man who defended the belt the most times is coming in at a slight underdog with 11 to 10. Now DC is the one that I'm going to be going for in this bet. I am putting him straight into my ARCA first time. I just think he's going to have too much for him. I think he saw something in the last fight and I don't think anything has changed. Now you can say, yes, I thought Stipe was pushing the pace. I thought Stipe looked good. But at no time did I think Daniel looked troubled by it. And if he needs to, I think he can go to the wrestling and to the grappling. I even think that this might be one that could go the distance. And if it does, I would expect to see DC with his hands raised at the end of it. So DC is my pick for this weekend. In the next fight, then, it is Pettis versus Diaz. Nate Diaz returns to the octagon after a lengthy three years out of the fight game. Initially due to return to lightweight against Dustin Poirier last year, Poirier was ruled out of the fight due to injury. Nine months later, the Stockton native is remaining in the welterweight division and in the co-main event against Anthony Showtime Pettis. Pettis, former lightweight champ, is coming into the bout after making his welterweight debut after an impressive knockout against Wonderboy. Since there's his fight with Connor, Showtime has had seven fights spanning across three divisions and winning four. Pettis has been speaking to the press this week and this is what he had to say. He said, Nate is a fan favourite because of just one fight, Conor McGregor. Before that, he beat Michael Johnson and lost to everybody at 155. He's had two fights at 170 and got his ass whooped. I've got to remind him who the fuck I am. I absolutely love that from Showtime. With Pettis being much more active, Betbull have placed him as the 8-11 favourite, while the returning Diaz is odds of 21-20. I've got to go with the bookies on this one. I definitely think Showtime Pettis being more active, probably being a little bit quick as well, is going to have a little bit too much for Nate Diaz. I've never really taken to Nate Diaz as a fighter, although the personality of the guy, I don't think you can not love him as an MMA fan. I have to go with Showtime Pettis on this, although I will say the weight difference, considering this is someone who's fought all the way down at 145, I wonder how Showtime's going to deal with the much, much bigger man in Nate Diaz. That being said, Pettis is in my ACA for this week. Yo Romero versus Paulo Costa. This is the final fight that we are previewing and it could be a Mr. Universe contest as Yo faces off against Paulo Costa in a potential title fight eliminator. Ranked two and seven respectively in the middleweight division, both having their eyes on the UFC prize where Whitaker defends his title against Israel Adesanya, UFC 243 over in Australia. We know that a win could set up a fight with the winner of that. Costa returns from a six month suspension but is coming into the fight on the back of a four win streak. While Romero has not fought since his fight of the year against Robert Whitaker, the most striking difference is their 14 year age gap. So will it be Romero's experience or Costa's youth that wins this fight? Paulo Costa is a slight underdog at five to four, while a Cuban is the favorite at five to eight odds. For me, this one is a real tough one to call. 12 and 0, 11 knockouts for Paulo Costa and Yo Romero, the, probably the most decorated wrestler that's ever fought inside the octagon. Unbelievable. At times like this, I have to always go with the grappler, and that's what I'm going to be doing on this time. I am going to be going with Yo Romero as the final piece of my free man Acker this week. If you fancy that, if you would like to get in the mix as well, hit the link in the description. Come and find us on BetBull. Just search for MMA Latest, and you can see all of the bets that we're placing on there. Follow us to see that, and also our outside bet of the week. And our outside bet that we are going for this week, I think the only one that's got great value is Anthony Pettis to win by finish at 3-1. to one. What do you reckon of that? Let me know in the comments if you fancy over any of those. Make sure you're over 18 and please gamble responsibly if you're going to be taking up any of the offers that we've said in below. 
Thank you guys for watching and come and join us tomorrow night as we are doing a live watch along and we have got two very special guests joining us. Tune in tomorrow to find out who they are. See you later.